Hi everybody, Ken Jacobs with K2 here again, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, Black Garden, our new album on Magna Carta Records, and uh, specifically this time I want to talk about the uh, the title track Black Garden and how it came about. Just to give you a little bit of history. Um, again, in keeping with the theme of trying to do an album that's based around Polynesia and the South Pacific and the peoples in the islands and all of that, but trying to do it a bit darker and a bit different than what you might expect, we decided to do something completely outside the norm that would hopefully be very unexpected. I had a melody that I wrote uh, a long, long, long time ago, over 20 years ago. I didn't know what to do with it and I've kept it all this time and decided to pull it out for this particular song. It has a Middle Eastern theme to it, so a Middle Eastern melody coupled with some heavy rock music, coupled with some dark lyrics about the South Pacific, hopefully is something a little bit off the beaten path and unexpected and, and hopefully helps things stand out a little bit more unique and on their own. So I've got the Pro Tools session loaded here and I'll show you the, uh, the original melody. I'll solo that. So that's the part of the original melody that I wrote. So that's kind of that haunting theme that you hear at the very beginning of the album, along with some other stuff that's going on. And then throughout this song, and throughout the whole album, in various different ways, that melody is repeated again and again and again, but it's never the same way twice in any one song. So. I'm sorry, in each individual song. So you might hear this version of this melody in this song, but two or three songs into the album, you'll hear this same melody completely different, so it's really hard for your ear to latch onto it, yet there is a familiar thread that's tying it all together. And uh, just to illustrate this here, in, uh, in this song, we have uh, the Mellotron as well that's also doing the same thing that just is repeating throughout this song. And we're not hearing it. There it is. So there you have Rio who took the original melody and then he kind of added it and dressed it up, did it two-handed and, and made it sound a little bit more thicker and full, especially off an instrument that's just so so poorly mid-rangey but still sounds incredible. And then when you have everybody together, it sounds like this. You have that Bedouin market uh, at the be very beginning of the album that kind of puts you in the mood and puts you in that place in time. Yet the music, for the most part, and of course the lyrics, have nothing to do with anything in the Middle East. So again, we're just trying to be different and unique here. There's the setup, and then you hear that big melody come back in. So I know it's hard to hear with the crappy monitors I have here, and you're listening to it at home with a tiny little speaker, most likely. And of course, the little microphone that's recording this is much better as well, but hopefully at least you get an idea of uh, us trying to do something by putting things together in a slightly different way that's hopefully unexpected and using sounds that might not necessarily be associated with the South Pacific or anything like that. There's definitely nothing here going on that's similar to uh, Don Ho's version of Hawaii or the South Pacific. No ukuleles. There's, on this album, there's, there's no crashing oceans or, or swinging palms or running creeks or any of the, the typical sounds you might expect to hear. There's no birds. It's just a much more darker take on things and, and, and trying to take it in a whole different direction than hasn't been done before. So there you go.